that spirit of Christmas. Good morning. It is breakfast time over at the homespun house. House. Hello. My mom just morning. walked in the door. Morning. What do you have? Milk. Milk. Ruby has almond milk. Ooh. Time to go into the dye studio and dye up the rest of your Harry Potter December yarn. I'm so happy with this yarn. I say that. A lot you hear that a lot for me when I'm dying yarn but I'm happy that I say that <laughs> it means I'm dying yarn that I love and um, it's so fun to I've been dying Harry Potter yarns for so long so it's so much fun to have been dying Harry Potter yarns for years I think I've been doing the Harry Potter Club for probably four years straight now every single month doing a new Harry Potter yarn club and it's so fun to be surprised by the new ideas that I come up with. <clears throat> January, February, and March, Chelsea and I from Suka Suka Miniatures are doing a totally new spin-off on the Harry Potter yarns. Charms are all sold out, unfortunately, but we will be doing the Horcruxes. So January, February, and March, you will be getting the first three, not in order, of the seven horcruxes and if you chose the charm option you'll be getting a charm along with your yarn if you're just choosing the 100 gram skein of yarn which is what's currently in the shop right now they will be based off of one of the seven horcruxes each month right now i am rinsing in this sink all of the harry potter december yarn and cleaning it and then here is where i have a bit of wool wash some water and all of the yarn is soaking before I dry it and then hang it. Let's go see what my mom is doing. Yarn. What do you do? What is your position at a homespun house? Um, what sort of... Whatever a homespun house needs done today. <laughs> <laughs> like tying yarn, skeining yarn, labeling yarn, looking at yarn, hanging up yarn. That's right. Packaging yarn. What... Talking about yarn. Yeah. <laughs> Calling yarn the wrong names. <laughs> Which one thing would you say you could do the longest? Well, tying yarn is the easiest thing to do. Oh, that's what you would say? But I like to have a variety because it would get boring to do the same thing. Yeah. My mom has started watching the wonderful Mrs. Maisel. Marvelous, marvelous Miss Maisel. Yeah. What do you think about it? It's good. It's entertaining. Um, yeah, it's Tuesday morning. I just brought the girls to school. Um, and today it's a cleaning day. Woo! Yep. But I'm looking forward. I got new cleaning utensils and I'm going to clean a little bit. I don't know. There are some other tasks I have to do. I cannot talk here on the camera. But standing here, I mean, it's like, I don't know. A little bit below freezing I guess but the sun is so nice and warm I I really enjoy that and I hope it's not getting too boring with my blah, 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 blah. um yeah I'm going to start and I have to go somewhere I just realized huh, okay bye bye we are already in the studio I am drinking coffee from what you've probably heard 500 times is my favorite Christmas cup my mom is slacking as usual <laughs> she likes to play with the stapler i don't get it like i'll look over it's open are you just trying to figure out how it works or yeah do you put the staples in here you do uh, oh yeah yeah the well, staples go in what did you think that they're for i don't know i thought i'd just kind of do it by hand like... <laughs> do it by hand. <laughs> just push it down all right and i'm drinking kombucha did you make it yeah you made it she made kombucha Mm -hmm. What what kind of kombucha are you drinking? Raspberry. How do you like it? Good. It Did, turned, turned out really good this time. What's your favorite kombucha that you've had? Raspberry. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Because of this batch, or would you say... I just like the raspberry and strawberry flavored kombucha. I like the way it tastes. My mom has an Instagram feed, and if you follow her on weekends, you will probably see her making kombucha and 500 other things. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'll be making kombucha this weekend again. Because on, on my mom's feed, you can learn about essential oils. Cleaning your house with <laughs> essential oils. Um, and cooking. Cooking. And baking. Okay, does anybody else have super swollen morning face? Because Amy says this too, my sister. This is a thing. Waking up in the morning, super swollen morning face. I am halfway through. Two bathrooms already done. There's the kids' bathroom. The kitchen is done. And yeah, toilets are almost done too. Yeah, that's the best, right? Cleaning the toilets. Mm, I like that. <laughs> I cannot believe that I talk about cleaning toilets. Um, while I'm cleaning, you might have seen it. This Bluetooth earplug in my ear. Um, and I'm listening right now to The Green Mile from Stephen King. I was stopping listening to, to Stephen King ear, uh, audiobooks because um, the last one I was listening to, it was The Outsider, was pretty disappointing. It started so nice, but until the end, and the ending was just terrible, in my, in my uh, opinion. But I, I read or I listened to so many nice uh, Stephen King ones, so I don't want to say too much to uh, too much bad about it and maybe you guys like it and yeah it was just a little bit too uh, okay not so satisfying until the end or at the end I, I guess I will be finished cleaning in half an hour to an hour and I'm looking forward to that afterwards I have to do some computer work it's George I'm going to put the lights on a Christmas tree. Yay! Oh, and I have to call the dentist because I have to go to a dentist. My filling came out today. No, last night. That's what's going on right now. And I'm still crazy excited for tonight's soccer! Yeah! I'm done. I did it. World's best cleaning job. The lights on the Christmas tree are hung. Look how nice it looks. Yeah. So when the kids come home today from school, they can hang the Christmas decoration together with Molly. And I bet they will love that. Look at that beauty. I mean, the Christmas tree. I just dropped Robert off at the dentist. I'm about to give the girls a bath, drink a little bit of a coffee, and then we're going to make some super fun treats. They're one of Robert's favorite and we make them all the time. I'll be right there, show me. We always make them around Christmas time. And I used to actually always make these for Robert when he would go away and have like an acting job that he would do because before being a stay-at-home dad, Robert uh, was an actor. What do you want to show me, Ruby? <gasps> Did you put all those pine cones in the babies? That's very sweet. Yep. Let's light a candle for these kiddos when they get in the bath. The girls are having so much fun swimming underwater. Yes, I talked about this on my Instagram stories. We have a pretty big bath. They both can kind of swim underwater and, you know. I hope you can hear me. They're pretty loud in all of their excitement. This is, bathing takes a while with us. Anyway, I'm knitting on my no frills pullover. I'm still on the second sleeve, really, really hoping it would be amazing 
to finish the second sleeve today. I know I could do it. I would have to stay up very, very late. What does that mean? I would probably have to stay up until midnight, one o'clock, which is really late when your children wake up at six in the morning. Peter is impressed by Ruby's bubble blowing. Um, but I'm hoping to finish this first sleeve. It would be so nice. What are you doing? I am making something. What are you making? I have no idea what they're called. Something that, I, that you like. We're so excited because we're finally able to decorate our tree tonight. Ben and I, we are on the way to the indoor soccer, indoor soccer, soccer game. Ben is driving me, driving, he picked me up. Um, I went to the dentist and right now, yeah, we're pretty excited to play a little bit. Hopefully we will survive. We are about to start. It seems like players are already on the pitch and I'm getting ready, yeah. So many of our ornaments. We're just kind of slowly going through the ones that we have. What and do you I have, Ludi? I made this one. You did. Yeah, and I made this one. It's supposed to be a bunny and laugh with his like little thing hopping in, so you can. Mama, so, eat them. No, you can't eat those. What's that? Um, my grandma made a lot of these. All of these little socks. It's all free. Some really sweet little sweaters each of us got one i've made some of the sweaters too my mom made quite a lot of cross stitch ornaments um throughout the years i made a bunch of patchwork um sweaters at one time but we have so many ben and i we have to wait because we were a little late and the game had, did already yeah, start. Yeah. And oh yeah. So but yeah this is this is our our stuff. So oh we already made a goal. That's awesome. My grandma Bakken and my grandpa Bakken did woodworking for a long time. My grandpa had an entire studio and they have made just so many wonderful um, ornaments out of wood so we have a lot of of really sweet and precious special ones from them who do you have in your hands rubes who is that what why do you have him in your hands <laughs> all right so the game is over we lost 5 10 I'm a little disappointed, but it was fun though. So, um, yeah. Anyways, I came here anyway just because of the beer. And if you think that I'm red, it's just a bad lighting in here. I'm pretty, pretty, pretty fit and I'm not exhausted. <laughs> yeah, so it was a game, it was pretty much fun. You know, I played in another men's open team and after the games, nobody wanted to stay for some drinks. Now I play in the over 30 league. Everybody stays for a nice drink. I like that. So Ben, use the camera there. I always look in, yeah. on me, so we have to look into the camera. Um, how do you feel? Uh, I didn't throw up. <laughs> feel almost. Yeah. Almost. Mm -hmm. A couple times, I think. A couple times. Yeah. But it was fun though. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, so we this just... This is the best part. Oh yeah, that's the best part. Uh, Prost. Prost. I hung up the messy that was out through the chimney naked in the... There is a bit left of the tree. For Robert. It doesn't look like more, a lot of more space. Just all the way up at the top. Robert wasn't here this evening. He'll be here just shortly. And he, yeah, he'll put some lights up at the top of the tree. 
We have right here two little boxes of ornaments. And two. Candle burning bright. We burned a candle one and two, two, then the three and then the four. Yeah, I just arrived home and I heard Molly decorated the tree with the kids, so I am excited how it looks like. Christmas.